three to one. I'm standing here with so, I mean, Katie well, Jackson. <laughs> Katie, you guys dropped game one and then took three games in a row. What's that like after being shut out in your last game? In your last game like you were? Um, it feels really good to come out with a win, especially as with a crowd like this. So we just came out to work hard and really wanted to get this W, so it really feels good. You yourself, you finished the game with 11 kills for 28. That puts you at 321. It seemed like whenever they gave you the ball, you just couldn't miss out. Yeah, me and Steph have really been working on our connection lately. We've been practicing a lot. And it really feels good to get that connection with Steph. So. Now on the other side of things, um, you guys dealt with Charlotte Tenza the entire game. She finished with 21 kills on the game. What were your efforts trying to shut her down out there, you being one of the taller girls set up in front of the net normally? Uh, we really worked on uh, getting our hands penetrating over on the block. Um, she did tool us quite a bit, but um, we switched up blocking her line, blocking her crotch, and um, it seemed that she could just tool around us or hit around us, but our defense did a great job getting her balls up. Now after this, you guys will go away for three straight games, finally wrapping up your season on November 1st. Uh, what, what, what can we look forward to looking forward? Um, hopefully a bunch of wins, and uh, we're just going to work hard and practice on Thursday and hopefully get these wins on the road, and then our last home game get the big win also. Awesome. Awesome. That was uh, Katie Jackson, uh, one of the leaders.